and welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So while I'm still out here in this poopy weather, I think it's time to see another aircraft. What you see behind me is a Sling 2, believe it or not. This is one of the sexiest Sling 2 out there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around a little bit. This is the tail dragger version, and there's actually only two of this in the USA, and one is here in California, and the other one is in the state of Texas. But let me show you guys around. Okay, so here we are with the Sling 2 tail dragger. Uh, a lot of you already know about the Sling 2 from the airplane factory, but rarely do you get to see the tail dragger version, which I think is 10 times sexier than the tricycle gear. Uh, and just to show you a quick comparison, this is the tail dragger. Right next to it is the tricycle landing gear version. Uh, but again, to each man his own. But let me show you around a little bit. Uh, now, in terms of performance, normally your tail dragger version always gives you better performance uh, in your climb uh, and also in cruise because you have less drag. But with this, you do have some uh, additional capabilities, I would say, being a tail dragger, especially if you're landing uh, on grass runways and things like that. But because this is an LSA, you don't really get a significant amount of uh, better performance with this with this version of the of the Sling 2. That said, you do get the aesthetic because it looks damn good. <laughs> okay, and also I should mention that Sling 2 is an LSA. The tail dragger version can you consider it as an SLSA. Okay, and if you're building one as an experimental, you can also have this as that. But I mean, check this thing out. It's sexy. Okay, you can't deny it's sexy. And I love the color scheme too. The prop, you got it all black, silver uh, prop. And then they painted the hood uh, a dark color. So I think that's pretty neat. And as you know, one of the coolest things about the Sling 2 is that you've got the sliding uh, canopy, which makes, you know, getting in and out very easy. Um, but other than that, you know, again, it's not, you're using the same power plant. It's a Rotax uh, 100 horsepower engine in there. Uh, same thing with the uh, tricycle landing gear you see over there. Um, and you get just about everything else you get in the tricycle. Obviously, depending on the owner or what the airplane is built for, uh, your equipment will vary very much. But in a minute, I'll show you the interior of the airplane. But this here, guys, is the tail dragger version of the Sling 2 airplane. Okay, guys, let's jump in. Let's jump in real quick. Check out what you have here in the interior. <sighs> Okay, you know, one thing that's always been impressive about the Sling 2 is the cabin space. I mean, look at all that space in the back. You can put a, another row of seat back there, honestly. <laughs> but this is a two-seater, and you can see the width also. Let me get a good shot. Like, just think about two grown adults sitting in here. It looks comfortable, and that's because it truly is comfortable. Uh, again, you have your standard stick, uh, and then... You see right there your rudder pedals but let me jump in let me jump and show you guys so guys as you know usually during my review videos I don't I don't always go through the technical aspect of an airplane uh, for me I'm always very curious about the interior and the comfort in here because think about it as a pilot most of your time is going to be spent in here and so what I usually talk about is your leg room uh, how comfortable the seats are, how high or low you're sitting uh, in the airplane, things like that. And right now, I can tell you, you know, sitting in here, it's definitely a different feel because this airplane is a tail drag. And the one thing I should also say is, look, if I turn, you see, this is my view that you're looking at. All right, I can see completely what's in front of me. Normally, you have some tail draggers where you can't see the ground. You can barely see the ground. Uh, and you can barely see what's in front of you, but look, I'm not that tall. I'm about 5'10". I'm sitting in here comfortably and I can see the ground and I can see what's also in front of me. So you guys get that sense of, even though this airplane 
is a tail drag. So I think that's something that's pretty neat about it. Um, and the cockpit, look, very simple. You've got a nice Garmin panel. And I've always, for me personally, if I build an airplane, I don't need a bunch of screens, honestly. I just need my primary display, which is right here in front of me, and then my radio right here. You've got just about everything else. Your circuit breaker is there. Uh, but this is a very simple airplane. And again, it being SLSA or LSA version, look, all you got is your throttle. You don't have to mess with the mixture, prop, none of that. You have your throttle lever. Your uh, fuel gauge is, uh, I said fuel gauge, your, your fuel valve selector is right also in front of you, which you have access to. Um, your parking brake here. Again, one thing I've said about the original Sling 4, I don't know if you guys saw that video, is I just love the the design of the interior. The fact that my hands, as a pilot, my hands are within reach of everything. Okay, even the, the ones that come with the parachute, uh, the Sling 4 that I reviewed, the parachute is right here. Instead of it being like on the roof, back here or whatever have you everything is within touch so whatever it is that you need access to as a pilot or whatever data information you want to get your hands are within reach okay but here guys is my review of the sling 2 tail dragger version hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give a thumbs up again my name is mike thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on the next video Peace.